Hey, welcome to another art video. Um, this video we're going to show you how to sharpen a pencil. <laughs> now I know that doesn't seem like something that you have to learn how to do. Uh, typically we have the pencil the sharpener at school on the wall that we sharpen with or at our home. Or you might even have a little uh, hand sharpener. Those are what I recommend. But a lot of times uh, colored pencils, which is what we're going to be sharpening today, can for some reason kind of wreck a wall pencil sharpener or or uh, or really dull it because of the waxy lead that's in the pencil instead of the graphite. So we're going to show you how to sharpen any pencil uh, if you don't have a sharpener with an exacto blade or a sharp blade. Now this is dangerous so you do need to follow directions you do need to be safe and always assume that it's about to slip and always whittle or carve or move the blade away from your body all right so if you can kind of zoom in here i'll show you what we're going to do so you can see obviously we have a pretty dull pencil and we want to get that lead where we can use the lead and not have the wood right up to the edge of it so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to use this hand to rotate the pencil and also my thumb on this hand to push the blade forward and backwards. This hand is simply going to hold the X-Acto knife or whatever blade you have and simply turn it down or up. It'll control the depth. So the way this is going to work, I'm going to turn this pencil as we do it. So I'm going to push the blade with my thumb. And this does take a little bit of practice, but as with any of our videos, you'll remember, we'll always repeat it, practice makes us better. Sometimes that's what we're learning is just what we're practicing. So, so I'm going to start by going like this. And now notice if I want to take a big piece, I turn the blade down. If I want to take a little piece, I turn it back up. So I keep, oh, look at that. I'm getting shavings all over my paper. Well, I got a little bowl for that. You can do this over a trash can, uh, some little container, whatever you want to use. So here we go. And I, I just kind of work my way, be patient. You don't got to take it all at once. Work my way around the lead. Try to leave that, you know, just go down to the lead. Sometimes you even leave the wood on the end there. It all comes off in one big piece. And we don't we don't want to just start what you might call whittling and just start doing that. That we don't have a lot of control when we do that. Now, once you get it down to the lead, however, now if you want, you can kind of just the lead real lightly, kind of move it around. If you and you you'll find it sharpening a pencil this way, you can get quite a long lead. If for some reason you want a long narrow lead or a long thicker lead, and it makes an interesting pattern in my bowl there. And so you can see now that I've got I've got quite a lead there, and I got a piece of scrap paper here. When you get done, what you can do is you can see how I'm rotating the pencil as I go back and forth. If you really want to have a, a really point, a real nice point on the end, you see that point right on the end? And that's one of the secrets we may talk about later is if you spin the pencil while you make the line, it stays the same thickness. It doesn't wear down a flat spot. See that point on there? Okay, so that's how you sharpen a colored pencil with a blade. Hope you enjoyed that and have fun with your art. 